This video is sponsored by Mammoth Interactive. Take your skills to the next level at mammothinteractive.com. Check the links down below for some amazing deals. Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make a Arctic scene very easily and simply. Now, this is gonna be a fairly quick tutorial and remember that major scenes do take a lot of time, but nevertheless, I'm gonna show you how to get something up and out the door very quickly. So I have downloaded all of these assets from Quixel Bridge and I haven't downloaded all of them, but it's just a few of them uh, to make sure that I know um, uh, which ones that uh, I've added there. I'm pretty sure I've added that one in there too, but basically all the ones with the check mark are the ones that I've added. Okay. So once you have all of that here, let's hop back into Unreal and basically we're going to set up a new level. Let's open up the terrain here and then kind of move it down just a little bit here. And I already have the trampled snow, but in case you don't have the trampled snow, uh, just simply click the trampled snow, push create, and there we go. Now, the other thing that you will definitely need to do with the trampled snow uh, is go into the mega scans here, go to surfaces, and uh, go to the trampled snow here. Now, I think I've already done this, um, yes, off screen, just because the last one, I, my computer ran out of memory. Uh, but anyway, you wanna click this button here and set these two to point two. And what that will do is that if we just quickly look at this, it will make the snow look that much better. So if you don't do that, it won't look as good, but that actually looks pretty good in terms of snow. So let's just go ahead and let's do that here. The next thing we need to do is add in a bunch of different assets here. And we're basically going to be adding in all of the cliffs here. So one thing that you wanna do is add in all the cliffs here, right? And then uh, you wanna add these in side by side. Uh, just be, you'll see why in a second here and something like that. And one of these will use more than the others, uh, but the Rocky snow pile, and let's just drag that out here, probably something around here. And one of the things about, uh, specifically I'll drag that back here. You'll see why in a second. And one of the things that you'll, um, have a huge, um, uh, problem with it first is should you resize the um uh, should you resize any of these assets and the answer is absolutely yes you can uh now at, at some point the assets do become a bit pixelated but for the most part you can resize them so let's select all of these here and then make sure the lock is selected here and i'm just going to um select this up and some reason it's not working but anyway never let's just add, add it into three and i think that should be good and uh looks pretty good here i'm just going to move this back and what we want to do is we want to create something that looks uh something along the lines of uh um of kind of like a hallway so all you have to do is kind of rotate these here and you can actually scale them a little bit but nevertheless let's rotate this as well move this over something like this and then you can kind of move it over like so and you can always copy and paste some of these here uh, even if you do something like that believe it or not that actually might not be a bad idea so let's take a look here and um actually i'm going to move this guy over here and then kind of rotate it so just kind of like that okay and you'll see why in a second. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna move this out of the way for the moment, okay? And that guy will come back later on, okay? So the next thing we gotta do is we gotta move all these here kind of in line with one another. And you'll notice uh, that these are all at different heights, okay? And so if you actually are looking for an ice sheet uh, of some kind, they probably will be at different heights, but you can always, um, you can always um, move these up here. So we can maybe say 3.5. Uh, and then I think that's looking pretty good here. So if we, we do wanna do that here and there we go, that's looking a bit bigger. So um, yeah, there we go, something like that. And let's just kind of zoom in here and this should probably move up as well, but not completely 100%, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna simply move out I'm gonna copy this maybe once, twice, and this is believe it or not all you have to do, all right? And then just simply click all these, 
push alt, move it over here, and then right click, transform, and then we're gonna mirror the Y here, okay? And that that's gonna do is that's basically gonna put everything out there. Now, right now we're almost done. And as you can see, we have a nice kind of hallway. And then we also have some kind of a back here where, you know, we'd probably put up a block blocking volume here. And you also notice that collisions aren't enabled. All right, so not done yet. Uh, let's hop in, there's a couple things we gotta do. So first of all, let's hop back into the terrain here and I'm just gonna raise some of the, it's a bit too much here. There we go, just raise it up just a bit. And then remember how there was this one thing here in the background? Well, what we're gonna do is we're going to kind of move it over here and we're gonna rotate this. And then you would normally have this way off in the distance, but I'm just gonna, just gonna make it pretty big, right? And just kind of move that back. Okay, and then if we play it, there we go. It looks like there's something at the end there, All right? And that's pretty much it. And that is how you make a very simple snow scene with um, Unreal. And so you can kind of move up here and yeah. And then if you really wanted to make other things, you can too. But that actually looks pretty good for considering how little time we actually put into it, right? And of course, there's other things you can do. You can play around the light and the time of day, etc. But if there's one last thing that you can do is you can change this default material to something like a metal. So it stands out like copper or something, right? And there you go. Something different. All right, so that concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe. As of now, this channel is not monetized. It really helps us out if you monetize this channel. Also, if you really like this channel, you can um, go to mammothinteractive.com to get some amazing courses, including some Unreal courses. It really does help us out. This channel doesn't need Patreon. said we sell our digital products down below. The more money you get for the content that you buy the, below, the more content we can make. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. If you really like this video, you can buy our content down below. It really does help us out when you buy our content down below because this channel doesn't do a Patreon. Instead, we sell our digital products down below. If you really like this channel, you could subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. We release 20 to 60 hours of fresh new content per month, every single month. We release everything from Adobe tutorials to 3D modeling tutorials to game development tutorials to machine learning tutorials to web development tutorials and more. We're constantly pushing the bounds in e-learning and if we can get to 10,000 paid subscribers per month, we can become the best e-learning company on the planet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.